real reactions this morning after Donald Trump made a series of statements about immigrants in last night's debate, including a baseless claim that migrants are in Ohio or eating people's pets. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. When you look at what she's done to our country, and when you look at these millions and millions of people that are pouring into our country monthly, where it's, I believe, 21 million people, not the 15 that people say, they allowed terrorists, they allowed common street criminals. Crime in this country is through the roof. And we have a new form of crime. It's called migrant crime. They've destroyed the fabric of our country. Millions of people let in. A lot of these illegal immigrants coming in, they're trying to get them to vote. Joining us now is Embassy's Homeland Security correspondent, Julie Ainsley. Julie, it, it's kind of difficult to, with all of these statements, you know, dogs and cats and parakeets and whatever. But let, let's talk about what the former president consistently says, which is that, you know, immigrants are the source of crime. You know, he said it's a term, migrant crime. Can you kind of help us through this? Yeah, I mean, it's a thing of where do we begin? I'm happy to unpack all of that. We can talk about Springfield as well. But when he's talking about the migrants coming in, he's saying like 20 million migrants have come in under the Biden administration. That's categorically false. When you look at the data that's published every month by Customs and Border Protection, the same people have been publishing these stats way back through the Bush administration and into his. They say that about 10 million, uh, just over 10 million undocumented migrants have come in. And that's through both northern and southern borders. And it includes people who present themselves for asylum and those who present themselves legally at a port of entry or with the CBP-1 app. So 20 million it's really unclear where he's getting that and why he just decided to double the number. So, and, and you know, let's get into the numbers. So 10 million are the estimated uh, amount of people that have come in just in the last three and a half years. Uh, and that doesn't include the what, you know, they call the getaways, right? The, the, the folks that have simply come in and we don't know who sure. or how many. Yeah, and it's hard to count people who you don't see, obviously, and it could be that there are more people who are evading apprehension, especially under these new asylum laws. But, Jose, I failed to get into the question you asked me about crime. As we've looked across the country, FBI crime stats do say that crime overall has come down dramatically just over the last year. There are some cities that are not included in the FBI check, like New York. That is also a city, though, that has reported locally that they've had a drop in crime. I will say when we talk about migrant crime, even though overall crime in the country is down and we know that U.S. citizens uh, commit more crimes per capita than undocumented migrants, there are areas of concern, small and concentrated areas, like when you look at a new gang, Tren de Aragua, that we've talked about from Venezuela that is now spread into the United States, committing crimes in places like New York and Denver and elsewhere where there have been large Venezuelan populations. These are all things that are already under investigation, over 100 open investigations by Homeland Security investigations into that gang. There's also been a number of arrests from people who they believe may have terrorism connections. All of that is being uh, put through the justice system. People are being arrested and deported. We do need to talk about that and not say there's no migrant crime. Of course, these things happen. It's a matter of looking at the data. And when Trump says that it's at a level never seen before, that is false. And so uh, what about the whole dog story? Well, we've got to get into that, of course. So first of all, I haven't heard any reports of dogs. That was the first time I heard about that last night. In Springfield, Ohio, there has been a large influx of Haitian migrants over the past year. And a lot of people said they've saved the town. In fact, it was a town whose economy was drying up. They were able to come in and do a lot of jobs. Of course, they needed demand for more housing and things that come with a huge influx in an immigrant population like that. But where all this started was at a city council meeting where someone stood up and said that they had seen a man. One person said they'd seen a man with a duck in the park, eating a duck in the park. The city manager says they have no evidence to back that up. There was another video that circulated. I just got off the phone with a Haitian, uh, the Haitian Bridge Alliance. They're the largest advocates for Haitian immigrants in the United States. They say where a lot of this started about the cat was a video that went viral of an African-American woman, not a Haitian migrant in Springfield, uh, that was having basically a mental health break and eating a cat. I, can't believe what I'm saying here, but none of that 
is tied to the Haitian migrants. And she says that it's dehumanizing to even talk about this having to do with Haitian migrants um, and that it's just one more thing that this community has to deal with as they try to boost the economy of this town. Julia Ainsley, thank you very much. And just on a personal note, if you ever want to see a hardworking, honest, extraordinarily beneficial group of people, meet the Haitian community in the United States. Julia, thank you.